Hi, welcome to Magpie Moonchild. My name is Kaylee. This is a deck exploration and first look at the Spirit Wisdom cards. Um, it's an oracle card deck um, by Katie Jane Wright and it's illustrated by Nikki Strange. Um, I saw, I'm in a new group that I've joined on Facebook for readings and stuff and um, I saw someone using these cards and I was like, oh my god, I need those cards. Um, I'll explain why as I go through. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd share the unboxing with you. So I have cut the plastic because I did learn at some point that I need to start doing that before I come on to video these. So we have, obviously this is the box. It's a two part box with the thumb holes. You know how I love a thumb hole if you watch any of these and this artwork on the back is beautiful. Spirit Wisdom, Animal Wisdom contains 50 card, a 50 card deck and guidebook. Call in the wisdom of your spirit animal guides with this beautiful deck of oracle cards and a guide to their messages. We each have a host of guides in spirit which support us through this journey, whichever path we may choose. This spirit deck is a, oh sorry, this wisdom deck is a tool to connect with your animal guides, to welcome them and receive their messages as intuited by Katie Jane Wright. As you work with your guides, you may be surprised to notice the many ways they will show up in your life. Just open your heart and let your guides come to you. So it's a two part box, it's got this lovely pink interior. Oh, I like that, it's got cardboard packaging to lift it a bit higher. I like that. The back of these cards are beautiful, even more beautiful than they look online. <laughs> they are stunning, they've got like watercolour work on them. Absolutely beautiful in this, it's like an iCat design but we'll have a look at the cards in a minute um if you want to skip i'm going to start time stamping the cards so if you want to skip through the booklet and just look at the cards the timestamp is down below for that um animal wisdom 50 card deck so it has obviously the inside page uh contents the animals they don't appear to be in alphabetical order so um i'm probably going to need the contents for that introduction uh how she worked with animals to create the deck before you begin uh, storing your cards, how to use the deck, card layouts and prompts, three card message, past, present and future, the chakra spread, bonus cards, crystal companions, working with the elements and then there's a bit about each of the elements, uh, connecting with animal guides in meditation, how to do that um, and a prayer to do that with and then it goes into the cards and for each of them you have the name, the keyword, black and white small image of the card, uh, the meaning and crystal companions there. So it goes through animal, dolphin, all the way through for each of the animals. And that's it, it just goes through each of the cards and then there's obviously the print details there, the normal blurb. Beautiful. Um, so yeah, let's get to the cards themselves. They're absolutely stunning. These watercolour images are beautiful. They reminded me a bit of um, White Sage Tarot um, in that sort of style, but they've got the um, element details and a little, they just they just felt like I needed to have them. Um, it's the first time in a while I've seen them and gone, oh wow, that would really benefit. I didn't buy them just because I really like the artwork. It, it just felt like I needed them for my practice. Um, so we have Honeybee, Divine Feminine. You are being called on to rise. Dolphin, Atlantis, healing wisdom is surfacing. Stop and listen. Dragon, Gaia's gateway, access Earth's inner wisdom. Ladybird, luck. All your manifesting positive thoughts and visualizations have been heard. Raven, wise woman, a change is coming. Snake, Kundalini rising, channel your creative passion and sensuality. Welcome the transformation. Swan, graceful transformation, soften your heart and find your flow. Tiger, divine timing, good things come to those who wait. Whale, tenderness, what compassion, show compassion and forgive what needs to be forgiven. The rabbit, sensitive soul, strengthen your boundaries and cut cords. Deer, trust, approach the situation with a light heart. Bear, you are the light, it is safe to step fully into your light. Cat, speak your truth. Have strength, faith and conviction in your voice. It has never been more needed. Chameleon, soul tribe, it is safe to be seen. Crane, surrender, let go of limiting beliefs. Be as expansive in your thoughts as your soul is. 
Eagle, ancestral healing. Your ancestors are holding space for you to heal your past. Elephant, grounding. Ground your energies and emotions deep into the earth. Flamingo, unity heart. You're being called to work on collective healing. Frog, step into your power. Stepping into your power. Don't take a back seat in your story. It is time to step up. Giraffe, the bigger picture. Take a step back and gather your thoughts and feelings. Golden unicorn, ascension. Wake, awaken to your soul's potential. Koi carp, abundance. Move with the flow of abundance around and through you. Oh my God, look at that owl. Owl, sight, detach your emotions from situations that you cannot control. Polar bear, nurture, allow any anxieties and worries to be gently released and offered up to be healed. Spider, oh, that is the most beautiful spider picture I think I've ever seen. Dreamweaver, tune into energetic grids around you. Where you can send your energy, where can you send your energy for healing? Sea turtle, conservation, make conscious choices. Kangaroo, courage, you are being tested, have faith and stand in your truth. Bat, listen up, you're working through deep soul patterns, release any outdated beliefs that surface. Butterfly, emerging, take the leap of faith. Dog, divine service, how can you serve yourself better? Hair, strength, take time to make clear decisions, bring awareness and light to the situation. Llama, soul growth, growth is never easy, have faith and trust in the journey. Field mouse, success, believe in yourself and dare to dream big. Panda, balance, ask how to bring balance into the situation and into your heart. Peacock, self-love, time to celebrate you and all your magnificent light. Sloth, digital detox, recalibrate, reset and recharge. Squirrel, spiritual maintenance, be your own caretaker. Starfish, intuition, listen to your soul's truth, think less, feel more. Leaf cutter ant, army of life, ask for help, seek support, you are not alone. Very important right now. Antelope, new pathways, connect, consider whether you are happy on your current path. Fox, shadow work, there are no shadows without light. Hedgehog, acceptance, embrace who you are. Horse, free spirit, give yourself the space and freedom to express your creativity. Lion, honour, honour your soul and celebrate its journey. Monkey, inner child, don't take life too seriously. Otter, initiations, be open through this transitional time. Panther, I love that, protection. Consider you, who you allow to take your energy and who you give it away to freely. Penguin, diamond light activation. Light activations and new energies are coming your way. Be open to receive and welcome them in. Phoenix, empower. Fire activations bring creative and spiritual freedom. And finally, wolf heart medicine. Let go of that which does not serve your highest good. Absolutely stunning. Um, the cardstock itself is quite thin. Um, it does go back straight when you bend it, so that's not too bad. Um, it's slightly glossy. I wouldn't say it's shiny glossy, but it is slightly glossy. Um, and they do shuffle over each other quite nicely actually it certainly doesn't feel like you're holding 50 cards um, in a good way the weight doesn't it's not a heavy deck to hold um, hair strengths take time to make clear decisions bring awareness and light to the situation it's beautiful it's a beautiful 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 deck the artwork is incredible who is the artist Nikki Strange Nikki Strange has done a wonderful good wonderful good a wonderful job on it it's amazing I can't wait to play with these they are slightly bigger than tarot obviously that I think they're tarot height but width wise obviously they are wider um, I don't find them hard to shuffle but again I have quite um, large hands when it comes to being able to shuffle bigger decks so um, yeah it's beautiful I love that eye kind of detail in the middle of the cards you kind of don't see it at first and then all of a sudden you see the eye it's beautiful um so yeah stunning beautiful i don't think there's many other words i can say is there but some of those messages they they hit when i read them so it's kind of needed for me personally but anyway so that is the spirit animal wisdom deck um by katie jane wright and illustrated by nikki strange i'm going to go and find them on social media especially nikki strange that artwork is incredible um 
so yeah let me know down below what you think if you have any questions and i will see you again soon bye for now